All right, I want to show you this. This is something Aaron and Justin can both use. You can use it against anybody. It's It works best and is ideal to play when a guy is running man coverage, even more so when he's running man coverage and pressing you. This can be very helpful versus guys like Art because he likes to press. He'll press and blitz. So it's something you need to kind of watch the defense. If uh, You'll see it if the players step up on the line. You know that he's going to press you. So let me show you. Show you something. Let's run it out of... Let's go up here. This will work. All right, I'm going to run. I guess I'll run this slants pass play. And I'm going to run man coverage. Do I got it? Guess I'm not going to run out of there. Run out of here. What I want. Cover two. Okay. All right, so see how the guys are up on the line? But if the guys are up on the line, usually typically means the defenders, the cornerbacks, they're up on the line. That typically means that they're going to run or they're running man coverage. Now, the other thing is I'm looking at is it looks like the guy on Jefferson and the guy on Thielen are both playing on the inside. Now, usually that's an adjustment, but it's an adjustment I haven't made. So, um, ideally, I'm not... Just for the sake of this play, I've got to audible Laporta to do something different in order to pull off this zag route. So I'm going to streak Laporta up the middle so he doesn't go over and get in Jefferson's way. Now, the play I'm going to do is, you see Jefferson's on a slant there, right? So he's going to pretty much run right into that defender. But if man coverage, Art could have a, a safety coming down for help or a linebacker or even the DN going out for help. But if this is third and short, say third and one, third and two, third and three, and I want to get the first down, what I'm doing here is I'm audibling to Jefferson. And then you pick on the right stick there, I'm doing the zig, the zig route. So now this is the route he's running. So man coverage, this is a man coverage beater. This is a known beater. So um, if you want to try and take advantage of his man coverage, especially if he's pressing, this is the play. So watch how this works. Oh, shit, didn't work. You saw the route, but let's see if I can get... Uh, Get my guys to block. I don't think the quarterback's dropping back far enough. Maybe that's part of the problem. Um, let me get the running back out of the out of the play too. He might have been in the way, but so this this play takes it. You got to have a couple couple seconds. Give yourself a couple seconds to allow this play to develop because he's going to run the DB inside. He's going to stop him there, but then he's going to go back outside. And he's going to be open. See, see how he gets him off him. Look how many yards I got. Now, again, it's Jefferson, but uh, that, that got him some room. Now, let me pick a different play. Let's see if I can get something that maybe do a little bit better at. Uh, I want to see here. Let's try. Let's try it with Hyatt. Right, we're going to run cover two men. All right, I'm just going to keep uh, keep Gibbs into block so, again, he doesn't get in the way. And I got Hyatt on the outside. I've already dropped back far enough, so I shouldn't have to worry about the pass rush coming in. But let's watch, see how this develops. Okay, so didn't get didn't get the breakaway that Jefferson got, but we got, what, a couple, couple yards out of it. So try it again. Oh shit, I didn't call the play. Or I didn't audible to the route. But nice to, nice to know that uh, Hyatt can beat him. Alright, I'm gonna block Gibbs, Ziggin, Hyatt on the out. Now, 
didn't get much there either. It could be because Hire's so poor in his uh, in his breakaway ability. But let's try this with uh, Elon over here. Elon's a little bit slower, so we'll see how this works over here too. He got separation, so good separation too. Now, granted, the slot can't press as well, but definitely a spot to to take advantage, right? So Jefferson's going to run the guy off. Thielen's going to create some space because he's got good route running. Boom. Ten yards easily. So you're seeing how it works. You know it can work. So now it's just a matter of you see his DBs come up to the line. That's a, that's a advantage you have based on his alignment. So utilize it. Ooh, called the wrong one. Watch him burn him again. And I also do lead him outside. If you don't lead him outside, and don't lead him upfield. Let me let me show you one where if I lead him upfield, how that DB could cut that off and possibly get it. So see how that db he could have I'm, I'm trying to get it to where the db can cut it off and get the pick if he if you lead him up field and you don't lead him outside that ball is going to float there and that db is going to house it just like this right there should have picked it could have housed it okay so that's uh that's a pro tip of the day hopefully uh that helps aaron he can get a little practice in with his first game and uh maybe knock uh knock art off so all right, that's it.